recording. Good morning. Hello there. Come on in. Is it still November or is it December already? I can't remember. I must be November still. Come on in. Doesn't matter, does it? It's getting colder. My dad says there's going to be a cold snap this weekend. It's all right. I've got a heater in the pottery room and we're going to be spinning like tops with the sail. So it's fine. Stuart, nice to have your company. Stuart's in the building with you, my friends, if you need anything. Good morning, Helen. Good morning, Josie. Lovely to have your company. I must get rid of that cobweb across there. It's like a bridge <laughs> from, from one light to the other. It, oh, that's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> oh, well, it's OK. Let me see if I can break it. Oh, no, it's hanging down. <laughs> that's better. Oh, well, overcast in Devon. Overcast in East Sussex as well, love. You're not alone. Come on in. We'll have a good day today. Oh, what am I oh it's a cable. Hang on a minute. Oh. Well, hang on. <laughs> it was getting all caught up in the wheels of the... Oh, Barbara. That's better. <sighs> Morning. There we go. It's because we got TV on Friday. We, the Royal We, uh, on Hochanda. I'm on at what, uh, nine o'clock and one o'clock on Friday. And so in between the shack shake, I've been preparing. And because it's mixed media, painty, arty, grungy, <laughs> I need, uh, that's to speed up paint drying. <laughs> As you do. You rock. Come on in. Ah, nice cup of tea. And chill. Okay, so we're early to the party. What's the time? 9.59. Yeah, it's nice to come in early, isn't it? Just get a good seat by the radiator. Hey, everybody okay? Everybody all right? A bit anxious? You're not alone? It comes upon us, doesn't it? And I think this time of year, if I'm not mistaken, this time of year, we're always a bit anxious anyway, because it's Christmas and money and presents and who and where and what. And now we've really got it coming on, haven't we? Now it's all changing. So or it has all changed. So, you know, if you're surprised that you're feeling a little bit apprehensive and anxious, one, Christmas is around the corner. Two, we don't know what we're doing, really, do we? Because three, the suggestions or the guidelines being put forward by the government, for me, still aren't really ideal. They're not safe, is what I mean. I think it's like, that will have consequences afterwards, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and just, I don't know, maybe I'm just an old bar humbug. I'm not, I love Christmas, but I just think... Is it worth the risk just to all get together and have a turkey? You know, really? Can't we do turkey? You know, when you think about what Christmas is all about, I don't, I don't need to have a party to celebrate Christmas. Not really. So I know it's family getting together and that, but I, so if you're wondering why you're anxious, I'm going, E R well, yeah, that, yeah, well, you know. And, and you know, you've got to know my kids are in America. I haven't seen them for a long time, at least a year now, year and a half, Mark. So that's rough. But, you know, with the vaccines around the corner, can't we just move Christmas to Easter, you know? Just move it up the road a little bit put the turkey in the freezer and hang on to it. Listen, we had a turkey crown last week. It was delicious and that had been in there since January. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be all right. Marion, grüß dich, liebe. Um, Marion, she's uh, in Germany. Lovely Marion. Yeah, it's lovely. We get together from all over the place, don't we, in the shack shack. 
Welcome to The Shack Shack. Safe, happy and creative. Stay home and craft, which is what we're going to do. And where are you today? Where are you? Same place you were yesterday. Yes, I know. I know. Me too. Me too. I never thought in my lifetime I'd spend so much time in the room above the garage. And now I've got my pottery studio downstairs. I tell you, if, I, if, a, if there was a loo here, I'd never go in the house. I'd just get the kettle and that'd be me. <laughs> but I have to go. No, no, that's not true because we've got the little kittens, the very fast growing kittens. And I do go in and check in on them and have a cuddle from time to time. It's, um, it's about adapting, isn't it? It's about adapting to what is. You know, this is the reality of the situation. Can't fight it. Got to adapt, really. But I was, I was just thinking about anxiety yesterday because I was getting a bit anxious and apprehensive and, oh, you know, like angsty. And I thought, what's wrong? It's been going on since March now. Um, but I think it's because at the back of my head, I'm thinking, oh, Christmas is a coming and we haven't figured out what we're doing yet. And the suggestions aren't really ideal, I don't think. But hey ho, that's just my opinion. Um, yeah, it is what it is, my friends. And today, because we can't do a damn thing about that, we're going to do a wreath because that we can do. You know, so just for an hour, we'll get together redirect her thinking, calm down. Maybe this, this next hour we'll have a think about what it is that's making us anxious. I've been doing a lot of soul search in the last few days, working out why I'm getting so, you know, what is wrong and panicking and um, nothing's really changed. It's just, I think I'm projecting. You know, when you start thinking ahead, I'm projecting. And there's no point in projecting because God knows you don't know what's around the corner. Do we? No, we don't. So come on. Wreaths it is. Let's have a little recap. I tell you what we do need. A recap on the wreaths. Now where are my pencils? I had them. Well that's handy. Here they are. The one thing I need is a pencil today. Okay. Right, let's have a look. So when we were together on Monday, I suggested that we get our do you remember these these wheels that, that Lisa made for us? They're brilliant, right? So we got these wheels and then what we did was we took our tracing paper. These are the things that we need. What have I got in here? Just a bit of tra right, tracing paper. And then we laid the tracing paper over the wheels. Right, here we go, look, I'll show you. And we made wreaths, didn't we? Do you remember? We decided which line to go out from and then we made wreaths. I made a smaller one as well. Look, you see? And then let's see if I've got a bit of white copy paper and then we can have a better look at what actually is going on here. Here we go. So so we made a twiggy wreath. This is the twiggy week. The twiggy week. Next week we'll do something different but we 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 came up with these twigs by just going round just in case you're you weren't here on Monday, so we decided which line to use and then we used pencil just to establish, let's see that one, you can go in on a different one. I think I had it that way around, didn't I? That's it. So I used that wreath through, no, I think I was the other way around. Oh, Barbara, Barbara. Right, that one, there it is. Yeah, there it is. The second one in and then this one, I must have used this one as well. Yeah, I did. There you go. One, two, three, four, five. The sixth one in. So you remember I said about making smaller ones, but it gets really fast when you get into it. You, you, you know, it's just a bit of practice. So we did that. Um, then we did one, like a spidery one, half and half. And then that, what we did with that was we made a, um, a spruce branch, just a little bit, and we said that we'd maybe put maybe mistletoe or another spruce branch on that side so it's offset. That's quite nice. And then you could make dots or little diamonds or dashes just to make up the wreath, you know. Then once we had our once we had our um, our twiggy our twigs in place, then what we did was 
we added see you can add leaves in that then so for example I just pop that over this over the top like so and you see you just add add your leaves add your berries whether it's whether it's I, I love these um, these great big white snowberries we've got them in the garden beautiful beautiful right so I thought that you know with long leaves like um, can you see this all right it's going a bit tighter hang on right see so you can make long leaves you can it's like laurels isn't it and this one would make a lovely laurel wreath for a competition if somebody were say you know somebody won something and you wanted to reward them or give them a prize then this is exactly you'd start there and you know like a laurel wreath think of the romans yeah that'd be lovely this is we're going christmas here so we've done the the snowberry can you hear me all right is the sound all right just waffling away to myself here right then you could go back to this one and then for example what else have we got here oh, I've got another snowberry oh yeah that one I used more little tiny berries as well to pad it out a bit that looks nice changing it then right now that one I want to show you this one because this is thicker isn't it dead thick the reason is because I started transferring it I'll show you that one in a minute once you've got this, you see, it's easy. Just trace it again. We'll do that. And then the one we're going to do today is the, the holly. You see? So there we go. So now we're going to go with the holly. Let me just lay it over. And we'll have another look at that. Look, see? So now we're going with the holly. Nice. You see that, okay? Are the lights on? It looks darker than usual. Oh, I know what it is. Silly girl. There, you see? So that's how that works. I have to check that camera. There's something not right with that camera. I'm not sure what it is. I must have pressed a button. Anyway, I'll check it out later. Remind me. So this is what we're going to do now is the, the holly. But what I wanted to show you was, well, let's just do that, shall we? Have you got a twig? Have you done the twig? So this is the same twig, just a lot heavier. Look, it's exactly the same twig. Somewhere it'll be about there, about there, right? It's the same twig, it's just a lot thicker because I need it for transferring. But this is good enough for now on the tracing paper to do our, to do our mock-up. This is what the, the tracing paper is all about, the mock-up. You know, I'm sure you must, if you're following the Shake Shake, you must have a pad of tracing paper by now. It's in the sale. It's in the sale. Um, most things are in the sale, I think, this week. <laughs> but let's have a look at this. And I, let's do our composition. And then we'll, we'll just stay with the holly today. And I want to show you a transfer trick. OK, because once we've got this, then I want to show you it's all about this twiggy wreath. Once you've got that, you're, you're in. So let's have a look. Let's just get an, a pencil, an HB pencil or a 2H pen pencil. I'm going to use this one, 2H, because it's quite fine. And what we're going to do now, I don't need the... For me, it's better not to have the lines in the background. It's too busy, right? But let's have a look. I bet you're good at drawing... Are you good at drawing holly wreaths, uh, holly leaves? It's quite straightforward. If you just take a holly leaf, right, if that's the line, the, the vein, right, you just go one, two, and in, and one, two, and back. Right, try it again. Make a line. Start at the top of the line. Right, ready? Go whoop, whoop, and in. So it's like, yeah, one, two, and in. And then stay there, don't come up, and then go whoop, whoop, and back again. There you go, holly leaf. Couple of balls, couple of berries, I mean. <laughs> Do three, feeling perky. Look, you can make little dots on the end, and then straight away, you have a design, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put little holly leaves. We'll keep it small first time round. Keep them nice and tight. Right, you ready? So we'll just work our way around. Now, the only thing I wanted to say 
is if you look at mine here, I put a couple. Do you remember on Monday we were doing the spruce? I put a couple of spruce branches in there just to jazz it up a little bit. If you're going to do that, best to do it now. Should we do that? Should we put a couple of... Because we can mix and match it a little bit then, see? So let's take, for example, let's decide where you're going to put your holly, your, your spruces, because they're going to... You want them to be a little bit, not symmetrical, but you don't want them all up one side. I can, this one is screaming out to be... I'm going to do that one there. I don't know why I thickened that up like that, but it's just so that you can see it. Right. So that one's going to be the holly. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make a mark on it. That one. That one there looks like it could do with it being a holly. This one here. And we might make it a bit longer because it's a little bit short. See, so you just take that one out. This is really great. Why? That'll do. So that's a holly. That's a holly. Not holly. Spruce. Spruce. What about a third one down here? Just three's good enough. That one there. That one there. Bring it out a little bit. There you go. Un, deux, trois. That's all I need. One, two, three. See, next week, what I was thinking was next week, once we get this down, and this week what we're going to do is we're going to transfer it to... Um, I thought we'd transfer it to buff paper and to a watercolour paper. And then we can start really coming, getting arty with the wreaths next week. But this week it's all about composition, you know. So, so holly today. And then possibly, we see you could do an overlay like with gingerbread men or baubles or things like that. See, and you do that before you put the holly in, do you see? So it's all about the sequence. But one thing at a time, let's, let's get the holly down first, shall we? It's all about practice. Right, so we'll start at the top. No, let's do the, let's do the thingies first, the spruce branches. It's all about practice. It is. It's the same with anything you do, isn't it? The more you do, the better you get. Well, that's the, that's the general idea, isn't it? I certainly... I, I believe that. The more you do, the better you get. Come on, look how much better our drawing is now than it was in March. Mine is, I know that. Right, so that's going to be my... My my fir tree branch, my Christmas tree branch, my spruce. So I'm going to go, how big do I want it? Not too big. So I'm going to go in and out. So you go up and down and you go up and then really tight like that. And you go along. It doesn't look like much. Right. Come in a bit tighter, shall we? So you can see what I'm doing. Oh, here, the other way. That's better. I bet you can see it better now. Right, so we're going to go out and in, and out and in, and out and in, and out and in. Turn it round so you're comfortable with it, so, you, so it looks like what... You'll know when you hit the right, the right place to draw it. Right, here we go. Up, up. This is going to be nice, you see? And because we're, we're doubling up on our lines, these are tiny little needles, aren't they? So they have to be a little bit pointy. See, you can change the direction a little bit. Oh, hey, hang on, let's make a gap. Does that look authentic? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. There you go. Make a little gap. What do you think? I think I'm going to come down a bit further. That'll work. Up to look. Do two sides at the same time, eh? Let me get rid of that tin. I'm in so tight, I don't want to go off the edge. See, now here's the thing. We're going to go over the top. Look, here we go. Over the top of the wreath. Into the... That'll do. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Right, so that's that one. Do the next one. This one here. So it's going to be in that direction. Here we go. This is a nice long sweeping one. So this was nice when we did it the other day. I really like that look, don't you? Look, see? 
just on that edge. You could put it down the bottom, put it up the top. That would look nice too, at the top with a bow in it, wouldn't it? Like a bauble. Hey, hey, top of the bauble. Top of the bauble to you, my friend. How about that? Yeah, you could put a, you know, like get the old bauble thing out that we did before. Well, look, there's your bauble straight away. Oh, she digresses again. But look, look. So you take that, put that on there, make the bauble and then do your shading trick. You know, like we did, we learnt all that, didn't we? In the shack shack, hey? That sounds like a good idea. Come on, back to the plan, Gray, or you'll never get to the holly. Yeah, <laughs> practice makes perfect and all that. Well, you'd like to think so. I think it does, it definitely improves your game. You know, we've been talking about that, haven't we? About just, you know, when I said about getting anxious, you know, if something makes you anxious, you've got, first of all, you've got to figure out what it is, haven't you? And then you've got to change it and then replace it with something that doesn't make you anxious. That's something that even gives you joy, perhaps, you know, there you are, that's nice. Look, zig, zig, zig. That'll do. Nice thick one there. Okay, okay. One more. So, you know, what makes you anxious? What makes you nervous? What makes you angry? What makes you frightened? Whatever it is, right? Have you've got to fight, first of all, you've got to kind of sit with it, and figure it out, haven't you? Yeah. Like I figured out this week that it's Christmas that's making me Christmas and Facebook. They're the two things that are getting on getting to me. So I've come off Facebook for a couple of days. That wasn't too hard. And it's not, I'm not abandoning Facebook. How would I? All my mates are on Facebook. Look, we're on Facebook now. But that constant checking Facebook, you know, that's that's got to stop because it, it was worrying me. You know, I get worried for people and I, I'm worried about that person and that person. And, 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 I'm, and I've got so much going on I need to just, I need to be careful how I spend my time only because I haven't got a lot of it, you know, trying to keep the business going and I can't spend hours on Facebook. Right, let's have a look. So we've got three of those now. That looks quite good. Was I off camera then? Sorry. So we've got those in place. That'd be nice. So now we're going to do the ho ho holly. Yeah, the holly. We're going to do little holly leaves. So we'll come up to the end. And we'll go, let's get it to the end, right? One, two, three. One, two, three. There you go. Go again. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. And then you might have to extend it. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's really fun when you get it going. Get back in there. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's like a dance. It's like a holly dance. Round we go. One, two, three, one, two, three. Hey? One, two, three. Oh, this is a little bit dodgy. One, two, three. In we go. We're just doing small ones on this one, just to get our eye in. I've got a plan, don't worry. See how you start building it up? Because the other thing is, you see, once we do this, we go around again, but not yet. Let's do the let's do the main ones first. Come on, one at a time. Yeah. So, so I guess I've had to figure out what it is that's making me. I don't know, uneasy. And now I'm trying to work through it all. So. And I'm replacing it with something that makes me happy. So, for example, kittens. Spend a bit more time with them. They make me happy. Speak to my mum. She makes me happy. Um, pottery. <laughs> Yesterday. <laughs> Yesterday afternoon, when I'd done all my work, I thought, oh, come on, it's four o'clock. I'm going to slope off and do a bit of pottery. And, um, and I decided to set myself a challenge. <laughs> so, because it's... I'm all right with the with the throwing now, you know, on the wheel. I could throw a pot, but I can't throw two pots the same. I've never I, that's that's not that easy, right? I can throw I can throw a pot, I can throw a bowl, I can throw a cup. I can do all those things, but I can't make two the same. 
right? Which is a real, that's, that's a, I would say that's probably a skill, right? <laughs> so I thought, right, so I Googled it, <laughs> as you do, and I watched a couple of YouTubes. I did that at the weekend. I thought well, I was p preparing myself. <laughs> So the first thing you've got to do is get your scales out and measure the clay. Because obviously, if you're working with the same, yeah, so I did that. I measured out five lots of a pound. Oh, hang on. That holly's gone a bit wee. That'll do. Um, yeah, five, five lumps. And I, well, first of all, I wedged the clay. Then I measured it all out, all exactly 500 grams. Right, I think, oh, hang on. And um, which just goes to show, I can't talk about pottery and do this at the same time. That one's a bit weird. Yeah, so I measured it all out and then I got to the wheel and after five, five attempts, right, the only thing that these five bowls had in common with each other by the time I'd finished was the fact that they were all weighed the same. <laughs> They, they were so different. Each one was unique. <laughs> they didn't even, they weren't even remotely alike. The only thing that they had in common with each other was that they all weighed the same. And I made them. There you go. That was it. <laughs> Absolutely useless. But I'm not put off. This afternoon, later, I'm going to go again. And I'm going to, I mean, it's a law of averages. If you make enough, some of them have got to be similar, haven't they? <laughs> so I thought, right, if I make five every day, my hope is that eventually they'll start getting a little bit more similar. But if I make five every day, then I'm going to have 35 a week. <laughs> If I've got 35 laid out, there's got to be two that look the same. For crying out loud, there's not that many shapes in the world. <laughs> if you keep going. Or maybe I can nest them in one another if they're, but then I'd have to change the amount of clay. Having said that though, it's amazing. Some of them are a bit jonky monkey and some of them are very, very thin. So I've really, I've got to practice, 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 practice. But you know, here's the thing. While I'm doing that, I'm not panicking about Christmas because I'm too focused on the blooming. I'm way too focused on the blooming um, pottery to be worrying about Christmas. Right, here we go, look. I'm going to put balls in. Well, not, yeah, they're not even holly berries. They're, they're different. They're like little, I don't know. They're just going to fill up. Look, so we can come in here we can make a little threesome of, look, it's just nice. Something different. It breaks it up a little bit. We could put, should we put some berries at the base of the, look. Fill it out with these first. In a minute, we might go back in and do a few more. Look. Might go in and do a few more um, holly leaves. See, I could put another holly leaf there, but I'm, I'm, I want to put one of those lovely... See, I think they look quite good. Sorry, I'm, I'm off the page again. It's because I'm in... Mm. There you go. See, because if you were going to do this, think ahead a little bit. I might put another holly one in there. If you were going to do this on... Um, um, Buff paper, just pretend, right, you're going to do this on buff paper. It would be really nice if you you could do these like red berries and snow berries. That's what I'm trying to do here is get snow berries going. So you've got some white flashing through there as well, rather than just the red berries. You see, there's my plan. So a couple of, and these are the big snow berries here. They're lovely. See, and then you can put, so you see you start to build it up, don't you? How are we doing for time? Easy. And you can come, I might do another, start building it up now with little holly leaves and berries. 
Hey? What do you think? Yeah? I think I'm gonna go snowberry here. Yeah, nice big snowberries. They're gonna be lovely. So we've got some little red berries. You've just got to kind of think ahead. If you're going to put this on, this is going to be nice here. I'm going to make uh, another holly leaf there. Um, if you're going to put this on buff, for example, then you want as many opportunities to put a contrasting colour, like, for example, berries. Or the green will be nicer with a little flash of white through there. A bit of shading. It's going to look good. Hey. Eh? couple of big snowberries. See, and the thing is as well, if you if pretend this is the white now, we're not going to do it now, but pretend this is the white pen, the Posca pen. You see, I can go over this and I can, when it's done, I could, like this could be, like I'm going to put little black dots there, like so, right? When I, but I don't know what I'm doing it now, but we could do that when we go to, look how it changes it. I would do these in black, See at the end of the, look, it just makes it just looks lovely. Look, see little black dots like that. So you would do that, say. But then with the white pen down the road, maybe you do a little cluster of like little white dots like that. One, two, three, four. Do you remember right at the beginning we used to do it? one, two, three, four. So you just make little clusters of white, but we'll do that later. So you need to leave little gaps for that as well. Although we'll probably always find a gap for a little white dot, won't we? See? It's nice. So you build up and you can make it as busy or as empty. See, that's got a bit busier than this area because I've put I've put plenty of snowberries in there and, and then your dots that will busy it up a bit. So what we're doing now, it's like filling, isn't it? The other thing I want to do next week is do an overlay and do one with dried lemons and oranges, you know, like when you get the dried fruit ones with the beautiful branches. It all will stem from the same one again. It'll all stem from that. But today we're on the holly. You all right? Come on, let's have a sip of tea. Sip of tea. You rock. It's getting cold. So is the weather. Right, so we've got, we're getting our lovely, um, examples going, aren't we? Now let's take our, let's take the the holly now, right? I want, I want to show you a trick because what we want to do is take this holly, but we want to transfer it now. Let's just say we've got the holly, we've got the one, what was the one that we did earlier? The, we've got the laurel one, right? Oh, hello, a bit too close. I'm going to come out a bit now so we can see what we're doing. Right, so you've got all these different reeds building up now. We've got a small one there. That'll be lovely for a card. That's that's another one that we want to... Well, we can, I think we'll stick with this for a couple of weeks. But so look here, we've got... Look here, I say. If I put that behind there... Same, look, I've got white behind there. Divvy. Okay. It's because that one there, because the little one behind, it's confusing. That's better. So now you can see, there's your holly one, right? There's your laurel one, the lovely, nice. It's whichever you want it to be. We could see, the reeds aren't just for Christmas, are they? But at this point they are. Um, so what I want to do now is go back to, did you, have a spare one of those. Have you got a spare one of those anywhere? Hey, let me see. Let me show you a trick. I mean, this is because what we're going to do is we're going to think about what we're transferring it to. So we've got, see now, because it's the sale on, now's the time to get this stuff because we used these before. Do you remember the watercolour um, pad, the buff paper, right? So we're going to do one on buff paper because we did that last week. That's brilliant. You've got light buff, dark buff and black still. We're going to use the black too. 
but we've also got these pad, these lovely watercolour pads. Do you remember when we did call? That takes me back. These are coming out in stamps very shortly. When am I? The next time I'm on, on two to four, that's when they're on, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure it is that. It's like the first Sunday of December, something like that, on Hochanda. And we've turned that, that lovely winter one, you know that, that... The, down to the woods, if you go down to the woods today, we've turned that into a um, into a stamp set, which is really cool. Anyway, the point I'm making is the watercolour pad and the little watercolour journal with the, where are they? Hang on, this is my little book. I haven't had a lot of time to do anything in this book. See, these are, these are, these come out as well if you want a little, just a little piece of, you know, like if you just want a little piece of, they're serrated along there, look. So you can, you can pull them out if you want. Usually works quite well. There you go. See? There. So if you only want a little, little piece, or if you make a mistake, well, what who's to say? I'll just cover it up with something else. I'm sure there's something under there. <laughs> yeah? Serenity, I'll say. Right, so we've got these little books and we've got this and they're a fantastic price. And I want to show you, because I think what I want to do, I have had this idea and I thought we could take this wreath and transfer it to watercolour paper. And then next week, I don't think we'll have time, maybe Friday we could start it. No, we'll do it Monday because that'll give you a chance. If you haven't got the watercolour pads, if you order them today, I've spoken to Paul and he's going to pick them straight away and get them in the post today, okay? So that means you'll have them in good time for Monday. That's why I'm not doing it Friday, all right? So let me show you what we're gonna do because when we transfer, you see, when you transfer, that's one of the reasons why we work on, uh, on tracing paper, so that when we flip it over, we can transfer it, can't we? Right, let's have a look. So, for example, if I take a piece of, let's take a piece of the watercolour pad, let's go to the watercolour pad, I'm going to go to a new one, and let's, let's assume that we've got what you've got. So we need, I've already thickened this up by transferring. Here's the one that's thinner, okay? Let me make sure I'm on the right side. That's it. This is the side that we drew it on, because we were all going anti, we were going uh, anti-clockwise, weren't we? So we've got choices. It depends entirely what pencil you used to do this job. See, what we want now is just, we only want the, um, we only want the twiggy frame. We don't need all the leaves because we're going to design something different with it. I just want to show you how, right? So we'll take our pencil and let's see what we're going to get. If I turn this over now, so I'm on the back, the pencil is on that side. We've done this before. This isn't new, right? So now what I want though, see what I thought we could do if this works, we're going to transfer this first to watercolour paper. Now, where's my... Excuse me a minute. I just am looking for... I know it's here because I had it earlier. Just... Where's that gone then? It's... I need... Um... Come on, I know you're there. There you are. Right, I just need to hold it in place while I'm working. So I need a bit of low tack tape just to hold it in place. Now let's see, because I used, if you use an HB pencil, this is, this is an, not even going to be important for you. But I used a 2H, which is quite a thin, H being for hard, right? So what I'm going to do now is just see, if I come through here, I don't need a lot. Yeah, it still works. I, I can see enough, right? I can see enough to be able to try, I've got, I'm embedding it, I mean, but you can see it's actually there. If it's too, it's, it's too fine because your pencil didn't work, then all you've got to do is go with a different sort of pencil. Like if I, not on this side, you've got to go over it again with a softer pencil, like an HB or a, this is good enough for me though, I can see enough. Right, so what we're going to do now is transfer the image. See, 
And as you come round, you'll see, I don't know if you can see this well enough, but I'm not, oh, hello. I'm not using my, my one with all the, the holly on because that's not the design I, I'm after. That's a composition for another day, right? I just, I'm gonna keep coming round here. Let's have a look. So as I come round, you see this all right? I'm just gonna build my wreath like that. And I'm transferring, hopefully, right? Yeah, I'm transferring the, the pencil lines. You see, even if it's not enough, it's enough for me to see what I'm doing. And then I'll come round like that. So all I want is that wreath shape. So that's another one in there. See, it goes quite fast when you get the... What I want to do is see if you can follow my, my thought process here. Because I thought, which is why it's not important that it's not, it's not heavy. I thought, if we do this and we get the twigs in, Then we can add the holly leaves. That's what we're going to do in a minute. I just need the twigs in the right place to start with. Good enough. I can see enough to, to do this. Right. And then, once we've got the pencil work in place, like real g arty, then we'll add, then we'll add watercolour on, you see, then because it's watercolour paper, that's the whole point. Then we'll really loosely colour it in. So not even, not go into the lines, just really loosely. So if that's a berry, we'll just put a little flash of red in that area. If that's a leaf, we'll put a little bit of green in that area. We'll get really arty with it, swirly, yeah. And then when we've got our flashes of colour in certain areas, right, then we'll go in with the micron pen, but we'll put the micron pen in properly so that the, the colour is sort of, it's there, but it's not, we haven't gone to the line. That was my idea. In order to do that, you need watercolour paper because it's going to bleed, it's going to bleed and you're going to get that shattered water look, okay? So rather than, for example, what we did here, which was colouring it in to the line, right? We'll have the pencil line, we'll colour it in wishy-washy and then we'll go in where the pet the line art is but the, there'll be red every you know what i mean it'll be well i'm going to give it a go by monday i'll know what we're doing but you need the watercolor paper to do it anyway and i think it's half price which is which is a very good price well half price what can i say and if you're in the club if you're in any of the the clarity clubs you get extra discount there so a lot of you you know you've been joining to um to add that that's a good thing anyway the clarity clubs are great the craft clubs are good it's worth having a look right so once i've done that right then i've got it on i've got it on there i don't know if you could see that have i got right i could see it well enough i can see it well enough here so now what i want to do is say for example i can just go back in and just so it doesn't have to be all defined because you've got to remember we're going to go over this with pen. This is just for us to know where to put the leaves and also um, remember we want, to, we want to add a flash of colour. So we don't want too much pencil on here. I'm just showing you how you can transfer really easily. You don't need a light, well you couldn't really use a light wave on watercolour paper. So there you go. So now we've got our leaves in place. Now, let's have a look. Are we all right for time? Yeah, we are, cool. I wanna show you a trick. So this one now, this is small, small holly leaves, identical twiggy branches. Now let's see if I can go bold on this, because I wanna get bolder on this. Let me just see what I can do here. Let me just look. If I come in, yeah, there you go, bigger. So I'm coming in like that. 
There we are. You get one in and then you'll see they're much bigger. So we're coming in more, right? So we're extending. Let's have a look. Much bigger. We probably have to extend our branches a little bit and keep it quite tight. One, two, three, one, two, three. And one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So here's another one. So you put the middle line in, right? Then you go, go to it. One, two, three, and up the other side. Oh, cool, eh? Right, so this one here, for example. Right, what are we going to do here then? We go, whoa, let's have a look. We could make a smaller one. We're not at the mercy of the large, are we? One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. Get a smaller one in. So you're adjusting the shape and the size now. So this one, this branch coming in here like that. Let's go around the corner. One, two, three, four, five, six. And bring it in. Bring this one in. Right, here we go. Big one. One, two, three, four, five, six. But look how different it looks compared to the little ones. You see? It looks completely different. And it's using the same twiggy branches, but this is going to look so nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can curl the... Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Once you get your eye in, looks completely different, doesn't it? Keep coming round. Here we go. What have we got going on here? Right, so I've got another one there. Got one there. Here. There you go. Just redefine it. And then change your sizes as you, as you like. I'm going to put a big, big one right in the front here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. Nice. And then I'll bring one under the, I'll bring a smaller one around the back. There we go. See? So you're just using on the watercolour paper, the whole idea here is to. Sorry, I've gone quiet because I'm concentrating on the, on the traffic. I've got a bit of a, Ivy traffic going on here. One, two, three, four, five, six. But you can see how it's, it, because they're larger, one, two, three, four, five, six. It's filling you beautifully, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's making it a lot bushier. That's the point, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. And because we didn't have a lot of lines, we can override. You see, you've still got the lines in effect, but you just, you can override them. Three, four, five, six. Now you start to overlap a little bit, you see. And every now and again, you've got to step back and look at it. So these are quite big, these, these ones around here. Let's go a bit smaller up the top. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. It's very therapeutic. Um, <laughs> holly leaves are really therapeutic. There you go. And I wonder if you can curl them as well, can't you? Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cool, that looks a bit weird. But if you bring that round, then it's all right. See? If you don't like it, change it which is, that's it, there you go, and there's the, that's it, that's much better. So that one's the front, and it comes out like that. See, and then this is going to give us, one, two, three, four, five, six, it's going to give us a really good basis. Where am I going with that one? Have a look. I think I'll just hold on a minute. I need to be using a softer pencil, really, but it's all right for now. It's just to give you an idea of where we're headed. 
And what I like about this, right, this is going to be this one here. One, two, three, four, five, and then behind that one. What I like about this is that it it's using exactly the same twigs as we use for the real fine one, which is crazy, really. All right, bring one more round here. Let's just put a little one behind there just to fill out. See how we filled that up now? Isn't that... There's one more there. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then bring it down. Yeah, I, I, I find it fascinating. Right, and then we can put our berries in now, because this is going to be your flashes of red. So you need plenty of this. Here we go. Right. It's a bit busy this one, but I don't care. <laughs> Lovely. I think what I'm impressed with is that you can use the same the same isn't that nice actually? I don't know if you can see this, can you? I think you can. There you go. Oh that's a, that's a leaf. A bit dodgy. There we go. So we've got berries. We can make small berries as well. There you go. Busy it up a bit. Is that a leaf? That's a leaf. Cool, isn't it? And then when we when we get when we do it with black, you see, so now we've got our I just feel that one needs to be bigger. You know, like this is huge, and then this little is like oh this one needs to be a bit bigger. It's just about balance. So the good thing is that if you don't, if you feel you want to change it. Whoa, can you hear that wasp? Oh, Jasper, Jasper alert. Hang on a minute. Oh, that put me off. Way. Can you hear him? Of course, like a torpedo. Right, hang on a minute. Let me just open the window for him. Come on, where are you? Oh, don't get caught in the cobweb. You'll never get out alive. <laughs> He's gone straight into the cobweb. It's not a good move, that one, matey. Oh, well. I've opened the window for him. If he ever gets out of that cobweb above this. <laughs> oh, dear. Sorry about that. Right. Let's have a look at this. See if you can see that. Yeah, you see? So you can see how we've built a simple wreath on watercolour paper. Ideal. And then what we'll do is we'll add colour to this before we ink it up so that we'll get a real lovely wash going. This is the idea anyway. I, I'm, I, it's a work in progress. But what I wanted to do was get it down on watercolour paper so that if you want to join in with me on Monday and you haven't got watercolour paper at home, now's the time to get yourself, treat yourself to a pad. And we're going to use those watercolour brushes as well because it's an instant wash. They're really cool. Um, I've got one here. They're like watercolour brushes, you see. And what you do is you fill them with water and then what we'll do is there's a mix mat and you put the colour over on with your perga lines. You put a bit of colour over there. We've done it, but what we haven't done is done a kind of a, a washy type of art with watercolour. We've only done detail, you know, like when you go in and this time I want to go to that arty washy look. OK, so you need watercolour paper to do that. Yeah, you do really for it to move. If you haven't got watercolour paper, then you can't really use um, copy paper. It'd be too thin. The water, it would just... The Clarity stencil card works, although it, it won't move the same as watercolour paper. It's just a different thing, isn't it? Um, but so that's it. Let's have a look at what we've done. I think this is cool. Um, I hope you're enjoying this. Where's the Jasper gone? I think he must have found the window. Good. So this is lovely. This is exactly the same. Isn't that strange? Look at that. That's what we did before. Exactly the same twigs. 
huge holly leaves, small holly leaves. So more detailed. So that's it, you see. Now you can decide, do you want a big bushy? Aren't you glad that you started large? Because if we'd started too small, you see, if we started, oh, he's still in it. If we started too small, you wouldn't be able to get these big, bold, beautiful leaves in, you see. Um, so, so the trick now is to transfer to here, right? On Friday, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll have some other ideas. We'll go to buff paper and we'll, we'll try some shading and some, so what you need for Friday, if you would, you need another blank to transfer. Just the, I know Ros was asking on Monday, just the twigs. Don't worry about the holly and the ivy and all that because we'll do something different. We'll try another sort of wreath on, um, on Friday. So what's, what would be good is if on tracing paper you just have um, one like that but the same size like that. Yeah and then we'll take that and we'll transfer it to our buff paper and then we'll do something really cool with that yeah I do you know what I love that one there's something so pretty I think that that's the one that we ought to do on on buff something like that with big berries with big snow berries so this is the one that will transfer to buff have you got that one ready to go and then what we can do is on Friday just giving you the heads up We'll just take our buff, we'll flip it over, and we'll transfer that work. We'll do it together. You don't have to do it beforehand. We'll transfer that work. And then if the pencil that we've used is not, is too fine, like I used a 2H, chances are it won't show on the buff. I may go over this with, um, with a softer pencil, like an HB. You know, it's got a little bit more graphite, a little bit more lead, a bit softer. When you when you go to the B for black pencils in this box, right, I'll show you. I know I'm I'm teaching a lot of you to suck eggs here, but when you when you look at the the different HB's great, it's just bang in the middle, and it will work perfectly. And most of the pencils that you buy, the cheap you know box standard pencils are always going to be HB, which is bang in the middle. Then what happens is you go to H, which is for hard, and B for black. So the black the the higher the B, like two B four B that I've got here, that's a really really soft pencil, like really soft graphite pencil. So this one if i do that you'll see it's it's the thing about it is it will smudge so you'll end up you, you you'll get a really good imprint but look how it smudges look see so that's the it's just finding the, the medium in it a happy medium um which is so the black is softer the b's the h's are hard i went with 2h I may have to go a little bit softer on the on the buff, but I'm going to check that before Friday and then we will know. So on Friday, all you're going to need is your buff paper and um, or just a piece of copy paper. Hey, friends, you, you know, you know, you you don't you need a pencil and a piece of paper and we'll do shading. We'll get the grey pencils out. If we're working on buff, we can use the Posca pens. You know, you're slowly, you're getting a little, you're getting a little stash going here, which is great, but it's not necessary. And I think that's important to reiterate that, you know, most important is that we hang out together, that we chill together. And yeah, it's important that going through this. And like I said earlier on, with this anxiety, you're not alone. If, you, if you're feeling it, maybe you're not, maybe you're oblivious, maybe you're just like happy days, bit of colouring, bit of this, that's fine. I'm really glad that you, you, you're you coping. There are a lot of, like me, I can only speak for myself, but I know that I'm not alone. A lot of us are struggling at the moment. Um, and I've figured out a lot of it has to do with not just COVID, Christmas on top of it, that that's causing me angst. And so I'm, I'm trying to find a solution through that. I'm adapting to work, um, to work my way through it. I'm, I'm eliminating things that make me nervous or upset me. If that person gets on my pip, I'm going to cut that person out for the moment because I can't add to my, you know, it sounds selfish, 
but it, you know I can only be useful if I'm if I'm fighting fit you know what I mean and so um, so that's where I'm at at the moment what can I tell you you know it's it's nearly 11 o'clock um, we're really busy we're really grateful for the business we're keeping going my heart goes out to the businesses that are struggling um, well, all businesses, we, we, we're still, you know, there's a big knock-on effect. It's like, it's not business as usual by any stretch of the imagination. You know, Dave's having a crisis today because we can't get boxes. Now, that's great for a mail-order company. And you can understand how it's happened, right? Everybody's gone online to shop. We've always been an online business. We've always been able to get boxes because you need boxes to send out your parcels. All of a sudden, everyone and their brother's gone online massive worldwide shortage of boxes. So where we never had an issue ever with boxes, now it's an issue. So it comes where you don't expect it, you know, and we just have to adapt and go with the flow and ask our customers to, um, to bear with us. You know, we're doing the best we can. And a lot of the stuff that's not working or not going according to plan is not our doing, you know. We're trying our best. And so at the moment, lovely Dave is <laughs> he's on the phone trying to find boxes, you know. So who knew that that was going to go wrong? There you go. But do you know what? It will be fine. And we will find boxes. They just may take a little bit longer. We've still got plenty to keep going. We've got plenty. We just have to use more sellotape. <laughs> <laughs> we were used to the peel and stick ones and now we're not getting them anymore but it's all right you know we have to adapt we have to adapt when life gives you lemons you make lemonade that's right and that's what we're doing so friday back together again um yeah got a head like a i've got a head like a washing machine today i hope that i didn't confuse you the reads will be beautiful. See you Friday at, uh, at 10. Ah, oh, hang on, 10.30. Now, let me think a moment. I'm on the television from nine o'clock until 10 o'clock on Friday, because I've got that mixed media show mm, on her chanda. That'll be fun. Jelly plate, so go, go. Um, so, if you don't mind, can we reconvene at 10.30? That'll give me plenty of time Instead of 10 o'clock in Shack Shack on Friday, 10.30 to 11.30, right? So that gives you chance, that gives you plenty of time to get another cup of tea in and get ready. Um, and you're gonna watch me anyway, aren't you? From nine till 10, then you can go and get your coffee. I'll rewire all this lot, and then I'll see you at 10.30 in the Shack Shack for more reads. There you go, I'm glad I remembered that. Thank you for your company. Stay safe and um, yeah, stay safe. It'll be all right. Lots of love to you. Bye-bye now.